Hey, what's up, universe? It's uh, 7.31 p.m. on Saturday, May 13th, 2023. Uh, so I finally... Not everything's unpacked in the house, but a large part of it is. I've spent a lot of time in the house, and my kids both have spent more time outdoors than I have. So I felt like it was time. The sun is below, and uh, you know it's not as warm out. So I came out to the garden, and this thing is giant. And I've wept a couple of times. There's a lot of things that need to be done here. But there's also a lot of abundance already. And it's probably about the size is roughly, I've walked it. I'm going to guess about 65 feet by about 80, 85 feet. It's a lot. And uh, there's things like horseradish, chives, wild asparagus. Rat, red raspberries, um, yeah, and a couple other things. Um, <laughs> uh, it just, uh, I was filled with a lot of gratitude. <laughs> I cried when I found the asparagus because I was like, I can't, I don't know when the last time this garden was kept. And, uh, just to see life and to feel that connection to abundance and just I was sitting out here earlier thinking about you know how to do the community and connection and I was just thinking about maybe like different groups coming out whatever uh and then of course like having the garden and I think there's a greenhouse I'm gonna go check that out next <laughs> pulling not pulling but like connecting with the earth like this is completely different in a way like I've been in Kansas but I've never been a gardener I've never been uh connected like maybe a midwestern person might be identified with like a farmer or something like that but definitely connecting with that is much is, has been coming to me a lot with this with this house with this property and uh and funny enough like I mentioned in the other video it was it's it's part of the history of this land uh, so I think that's great. And I'm, I'm grateful to be a steward, I suppose, of the land, um, selected to be so apparently. Uh, and that is a great honor. Uh, and this is just, <laughs> there's a lot of other connections too. Like Portland, Oregon was a big deal. That was a trip that me and my ex-wife took and there was a garden there and raspberries and it was a very pivotal uh, trip for us in our relationship. So there's a really just a lot of lessons that came from that. And so there's just this strange like mix of, of feelings and um, abundance and just a change. Transformation is a word that really comes up. That actually really came through to me when I was walking through where these raspberries could be. Here, I'll show you. Actually, you probably just want to see the garden rather than me, huh? So I'll show you. <laughs> All right, so right here is where the raspberries, actually they're coming in, so I've got to clear out this old stuff, and that's what made me think of transformation, clearing out the old so that the new can come in. Um, so he has some work to be done, but they're coming in. I'll show you the one that, I used an app to identify it, so I'm assuming it's correct. Uh, but it was this right over here, this one. And then there's some more right there, but yeah. And then right here is the asparagus. So we got a line of it right here. So I'm excited about that. Cause I'm like, pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to eat all of this. You know what I mean? Wait, maybe not that, but over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Uh, and then the horseradish is up over there, some irises, but yeah, like, and then it's nice and fenced off because there are deer around here, so it keeps, you know, it's protected. Um, yeah, just a lot. So I'm excited and grateful. Uh, one of the guys uh, from Costa Rica, um, I contacted him today and I was like, dude, I'm going to need some of that some of that info. So I uh, reached out to him. We're going to chat tomorrow. Uh, so I'm excited about that. 
because uh, he's big into into food and natural eating and sustainability and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, I yeah, I'll need some of that, <laughs> some of that guidance. So, all right. Well, thank you again. Thanks for watching and thanks for being here and uh, thanks for being part of the journey. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.